Welcome to Star GB's NC Assist demonstration. This piece of software is a conversational template driven programming editor. Most of our machines, current and old, have been formatted uh, within the system. Depending on which machine you have selected, that controls the program templates that are available down here at the bottom. We have templates for head one and separate templates for head two. So we'll just click on the first one here, add. All the templates have a picture to describe some of the inputs that you see here on the left hand side. Obviously some of these inputs are default inputs which obviously speeds up the programming and obviously the picture helps you uh, interpret what the conversational questions are asking. So if just pull this list down, we've got the G codes, some of the FANUC cycles here. Some of the other features included in the software, we have a backplot function to show the toolpath that has been generated. Another function that we have is a tool list creation icon, which includes the tools now that are in the program or the active program. We can see the programs in sync mode. So for multi-channel machines, this is very useful because you can see the weight codes lining up between the two heads. The system supports all the latest operating systems from Windows. It is protected by a license key, however the license key is multi-use so the software can be loaded onto uh, multiple PCs uh, and laptops. Okay, to begin the program we're going to start with a program template for part eject with a right hand part enough tool. So we're going to add that into the program. Some defaults at the top such as program number, program name, these appear at the top of the program as comments. Bar diameter is 32, part length is 45. So click OK. That template generates uh, all this code. So at the beginning of the program, we've got the header information, our machining condition data on our G266 line. We've got our restroke section in the program and at the bottom we've got our parting off sequence. We're now ready to add some toolpaths so we click in the program, check the component so we will call a drilling arm operation first, add that in and it's tool 13 in this case, click OK, so that is included, that section of code, tidy that up, so that will spot drill the component, next step is to drill, so drilling on tool call again, this time it is tool 14, OK, so that includes that code here. We're going to add a drilling cycle now. So we're going to come down the list. So we're going to peck at three millimeter increments. And there's our drilling cycle inserted. Next operation is tapping. Okay, that. And there's my tapping operation. Okay, the next function, we're going to use a turning cycle so we need to call turning tool first. Set approach minus one is okay. Spindle speed 2500. Click and then find the uh, rough turning cycle, which is here. So again, we've got some defaults that we need to include. And now we can enter the coordinates. So we'll go down to 13. That line will generate this chamfer blend 1.5 on the corner. Then we're going to come up 
to the beginning of this angle which is this dimension 28 so G1 X 28 Can use another tool call now to finish the profile, but we are going to keep with tool number two. So OD turn. So I'm going to face down to 17 at quite a heavy feed rate and then finish. At that point, we're going to again save the profile. We're going to have a quick check in back plot to see the shape. It all looks good. Go back to our editing window. Next operation is a threading operation. So turn into a call again. This time it's tool three. And we're gonna thread, uh, okay that. And we can look for a OD threading cycle. So X axis start position in this case, we're gonna go to 18. And it's a straight thread so there's no taper. So we can OK that, and there's our threading cycle. And save. OK, next operation is the Head 2 program. So we're going to click New Program. We're going to change the templates so that they're on Head 2. And Program Template Part Eject. Add, put in some basics. Minus 5 is OK, 4000 to pass over the part is fine, so we can OK that. That function has generated the program header information, the part eject information, and the pickup information. We'll add a static tool call for the facing off of the component, and that's our turning complete. Next operation is to mill the hexagon using polar interpolation. So we have a 28 mil across flux hexagon, uh, 10 mil deep. So we're gonna call a power tool call this time. 10 millimeter, N mil. Okay, that position the cursor here. And we can use a polar mill hexagon function Stock diameter is 32, cutter diameter is 10. We'll leave a little bit of stock for a finishing pass. Okay, that. And there's our tool pass using compensation on and off. Okay, so we're just gonna save these two files to the USB stick. We can now put these two programs into the machine and run some parts.